and let's talk about the next step of configuring your application. Now that we've generated an application using the application wizard, you'll probably want to do some very quick configuration to really dial in your application. Okay? And the best way to do that is by using the panel wizard. The panel wizard does a lot for you very quickly. As you can see by the icons at the top here, there are many different things you can configure about your panel. The first and probably the most important really is the database field and panel selection. And I'd like to highlight here that not only can you select the fields that you want to dis display, but also the panels you want to include on your page. The way it knows what panels are available to display is by using those explicitly declared foreign key relationships or virtual foreign key relationships that you might have uh, declared in Ironspeed Designer directly. All you have to do is select a table panel or a record panel. Those can either be display only or they can be editable. So you can mix and match uh, table and record panels. You can mix and match display and editable panels all on the same page just by quickly selecting them here in the application wizard. Next is the query step. This is for very quick and dirty queries. However, I would definitely request that you use a database view for anything of any complexity. Just as a reminder, Ironspeed Designer is not a query creation tool. So anything with any uh, uh, nested queries, any uh, uh, conjunctive or disjunctive relationships, distinct, anything like that, I would definitely recommend using a database view. The option step is very common because here's where you turn on table buttons and row buttons, which are commonly configured items. Just quickly go in here and turn things on or off. If you happen to be using a full text search, you can elect which uh, fields are going to participate in that search. And if you're adding filters to your panel, quickly turn on or off filters that appear in the filters area above a table. Next we have the express uh, sort that you want, a primary and a secondary sort. This, of course, is usually overridable by an application user by clicking a column heading, but this allows you to present your data uh, the first way that you want when it's displayed. Okay, now let's move on to a demonstration of how you would configure a table panel using the panel wizard. I'm going to go back to Ironspeed Designer, click Close. And we're in live preview mode. As you probably know, live preview shows you your application inside of Ironspeed Designer so you don't have to launch it in a separate browser. You can navigate around just by clicking links uh, here, and that will also update the application explorer for you at the same time. I'm going to switch into design mode now, which is where most of our work will actually be done in terms of configuring different things. To demonstrate the panel wizard, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, select here the Show Orders page. So I'm going to go down to the Orders menu and select the Orders table. So here's an Orders table. We can take a look at what that uh, displays as here just by clicking over to Live Preview. You can see it's a fairly rich, complex table. It's got quite a few columns, a lot of things crammed in there. So suppose we want to simplify it a little bit, because this is just, in our example, going to be uh, kind of an overview of all of the different orders that we have. And if you want to see the details, you would just uh, click uh, to see the individual record or click through for a customer and so forth. So to do that, I'm going to go back to design mode. I'm going to go to my page panels section. And I will right click over here in the orders table control. That's what we're seeing here. I'm going to select that and I'm going to go to the Fields and Panels step in the Panel Wizard. So here we have everything uh, that we, we can display. Okay. So I'm going to remove a few fields just kind of to winnow it down. I'll remove the required date, the start date, um, maybe the freight, which is a little bit less interesting, and uh, I'll remove the postal code and, say, the uh, ship address. That'll leave us the city, the region, and the country. So a more compact table, to, to be sure. Okay. Uh, next, I'll go here to the Options step. And as you can see, I've got a whole set of buttons that are automatically turned on. 
Well, since this is really just meant to display an overview of the different orders, uh, what I might do is turn off a few things. Uh, I might turn off the copy button. I might turn off the delete button since I don't want my users deleting orders that have already been uh, uh, entered, um, and, and so forth. I can even go down here and adjust row buttons as well. So if, uh, again, I don't want people copying orders or deleting uh, orders, I can turn those uh, off here as well. Let's go here to the filter step. Uh, I'm automatically filtering on the customer and employee, but maybe I want to add some additional filters, say, to the customer that I'm shipping it to or the country that I'm shipping it into. So I can quickly sort by some common means that I might want to filter and display those orders. Okay. And with that, I'm just going to click Finish. Iron Speed Designer is now going to go out and recreate that uh, table. If we look in our Quick Layout Editor, you can see that the number of columns has been winnowed down. And if we want to see our actual page, I'm just going to click over now to Live Preview. Iron Speed Designer will automatically regenerate that page, both the ASPX and the uh, C Sharp or Visual Basic code. And then it'll run the .NET compiler. That's actually what uh, it's doing now. So it's running the .NET compiler so that we can see the application that we've just uh, configured. Normally what you would do is go from page to page using the panel wizard after the application wizard, uh, making the, the course tuning adjustments that you would like. And here's our updated table panel. You'll notice that we have a few fewer buttons. We only have a couple of uh, buttons here. We have the show and we have the edit because we removed those other buttons. And it's a much more compact, uh, easy to understand table. Okay, let me pause now and ask if there are any questions from anyone. Okay, we have a question here about how I rearrange uh, field uh, order on a page. Uh, well, that's a, a great setup. I'm actually going to be demonstrating that next. So uh, thank you for uh, 